Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, I've been missing for a little while. I got super ill and earned myself a stay in the hospital, so I am a little behind on videos. But tonight I thought I would just go ahead and show you how I did these honeycombs. So there are lots of versions of honeycombs. You can do them darker, you can do them brighter. It's really up to you. The most important part is getting the darker up top of them so they look a little more 3D. Um, I also use gel pen and metallic paint on this one. This is Johanna Basford's Flourish. It was a free page. But I used um, paint and I just used the regular, I'm not sure if I have it right here. Oh, yep. Yeah. I just used regular acrylic gold paint. They have pure gold, they have ancient gold. There's So it really depends on what kind of color you're going for. Like this one is champagne. And then I also used gel pen on the dots and inside the B. So today I'm going to do, I just got this book, Mythographic Paradise by Fabiana Antanasio. I just got it, and when I got home from the hospital, I was looking through it, and I realized there's a B page in it. And I thought that it might be nice to just kind of go ahead and color it a little bit and show you how I did mine. And what I can have planned for it, and just kind of go from there. So my colors to start with, I think um, on this page, I did them all pretty much the same. I think for this page, I might vary them a little because it has shading in some that make them darker. So I think I will use a few different colors. Um, these are my Prisma colors. I have dark brown, light umber, goldenrod, terracotta, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use yet, but I pulled it anyway. Jasmine, yellow ochre, and my itty bitty baby cream. So first thing I'm going to do, and I am left handed, so we might have to turn my book a little bit, but I am going to go around the inside of And the shadow might make it so you can't see that. Let's see if that's better. Okay. So just around the inside. Make sure you leave your fuzzy edge so your next color will blend. I'm going to do that on the next one. Sorry, my cat was attacking something in the dark. Leave my fuzzy edge. So I haven't quite decided, so I'm going to leave this darker one blank for a moment where the darker spots are because I haven't decided how I want to do those just yet. And so I'm going to go on the inside of this. This one, and I'm not going to color the whole page because I know honeycombs can be tedious and they're not a whole lot of fun to watch. So once I show you the basic steps of how I do it, oh, I will end it. Um, just a side note, I am not a professional colorist. I am. This is just how I like to do things. I noticed a lot of times when I got on YouTube to look how to see the do things when I was first beginning there were not a lot of videos on honeycombs there were a couple but some of them were really really hard to follow so what I tend to do is watch a lot of videos on what I'm learning like galaxies or honeycombs or blending and then I kind of just shape it to fit my own style so you can always tweak it how you like it your page if you have an even better way that's great so I want to leave some brown I didn't leave enough fuzzy edge on that one just kind of going around so that is my light umber 
So on a couple of these, but not all, I am going to add some sienna brown just to give them a little bit of a different color. This one that's darker, I think I will. I think I'll go ahead and put it right there. But not on all. And then I'm going to go to my goldenrod. And the same thing, just kind of fill it in and leave that fuzzy edge. You don't have to worry about blending too much because when you go over it with your cream or whatever color you choose to end your honeycomb with, they said there's darker and lighter colors, then that will be your, your lightest color is always your blending color. I will show you real quick. This is my reference book. And what it has in it is just a whole bunch of things I use for reference for coloring. So I looked at this chart and I looked at these two right here and I decided that those were great honeycomb colors, starting from dark, to lightest. Those were the colors I liked. I do like this one, but it's a little bright in the middle for a honeycomb. So I took a combination of these two colors and I'm just going to kind of play with them and see what I like. So after goldenrod is yellow ochre. Same thing, just adding a very little layer. Oh, and my tip broke. First, I broke my electric sharpener right before I went to the hospital, so I don't have my electric sharpener on me. Okay, so adding this one. And see how I left this one as not much of a U, but these ones have a couple U's. It's really up to you what kind of shape you're looking for. This one I think I'm going to do going this way. Okay, so then you can either do one more color depending on your preference, or you can go to the cream. I like to just kind of rough out that color, make sure it's nice and buffed out. And I will still go over that one with the cream. So then I'm just going to take this cream, and I know it's kind of hard to see because it's tiny. I just want to start in the middle and go around. And then once you've got your cream in how you want it, like I said, this one's kind of sideways along because of where the shading was. I'm just going and adding, circling around the whole thing, blending out the whole thing. this one. So hopefully you guys can see that. That's fairly well from where I'm at. Then you can go back in with your darker color if you want and add that dark kind of back in or you can leave it the blended look up to you. Whatever you like. I kind of like the darker because it makes them look they're sitting in there a little deeper. But that is how I do the honeycomb. Now there's lots of things you can do for the surrounding area. You can do them dark brown. You can do them gold. Um, I happen to have an assortment of gel pens. I think these two are probably my favorite. So we'll start with these two. This one is a flare glitter gel pen. And this one is a Bayoki. I got these ones as a gift, but they work really well. So in all I do, so I'll probably go around the inside with the dark color in some. And then I will add this gold. 
around the other way. And you can add the gold over your dark spot just to give it some shine. But it's really up to you which you like more. So I think I will probably alternate between the gold and the brown just because I kind of like how that looks. But it's really up to you. So like this one right here, I will probably do gold. But the one above it up here, I will probably do this darker brown. And I will just kind of follow that pattern all the way through my picture. So, like this one will be brown. And then this one will be gold. So it's just kind of up to you, just fun. My pencil will cover that one. Um, but that is how I do my honeycombs with Prisma pencils. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'm hoping to get a few more videos up. Like I said, I have surgery this month, but I will be doing my best to get them made and have them ready to be uploaded. Thank you for watching.